Hey you all, okay to start this video, I'm gonna show you my brows no product. Um, and then I'm gonna do little clippets of how I do it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is line underneath where I want my brows to start on both sides. When I do that, it looks like this. If you're looking at that and thinking, wow, that's really weird, just hang with me, I promise. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line the top where I want them to start. So this is what that is gonna look like. If you're still looking at me and thinking, whoa, that's really crazy, keep hanging with me, okay? So what I did was I lined the top and I lined the bottoms. Then I'm gonna continue to line the top and I'm gonna make sure my arches are about the same um, height. And I typically do my eyebrow arch um, lined up with the outer edge of my iris. I made my arches at the top. Obviously, I know this looks really harsh and that's okay because we're gonna blend it. Now I'm gonna do the same thing um, and outline the bottom. Okay, so here's what we've got so far. Don't worry about all the fill-ins um, that we need to do because we're gonna come back to that. Now, I use this angled brush and it's perfect because when I wanna close this gap, all I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna actually look in the mirror to do it, is you're gonna hold this brush right here and you're gonna push down to connect those two lines. Here's what we've got while we connected those two lines. Then, no extra product on your brush, we're just gonna fill some of this in. Now I'm gonna take my spoolie and we're just gonna brush all this kinda out and it's gonna blend together really well. Okay, now, if you um, like softer brows, obviously you would probably not use smoked topaz, you could use mocha java. Um, you could use a different color or you could just use a lighter hand. If you still have some spots in there, just go on and color them in. Okay, now, so there's my basic brow shape. And you're just gonna continue to brush out with a little spoolie brush um, until you get the product, some of the product out and let it kind of blend in a little bit. And it, the longer you brush, the more light the product is gonna get. Now, if you're still looking at it and you're like too dark, just take a white washcloth and rub some of the product off. So you're gonna get a little product off, but you're still gonna leave that same great shape. So here is my finished product, and this is how dark I leave them. 